And Accenture has posted its uh, results for the fourth quarter of 2023. Revenue has come in at $16 billion, up 4% in the US dollar terms compared to last year. The company has also raised its quarterly dividend by 15%. My colleague Anisha Jain is joining us uh, with all the details on the phone line. Uh, take it away, Anisha. Hi. Well, yes, it's an overall decent number that has come in from Accenture. This time, a growth of 4% is pretty much what the street was penciling in. In between the range that the company had guided and the margin expansion too is on expected lines. Um, it's a consulting business that continues to be muted, so that business has seen a decline of 2% in dollar terms, while the managed services business has managed to see an increase of 10%. Even if you look at the guidance for the next year, it's a bit lower than what Street was expecting. We were expecting that for FY24, the growth is going to be anywhere between 3 to 6%. The actual number, what they have guided for is 2 to 5%. So a bit of a disappointment there, but I guess it's par for the course. Even if you look at the uh, new bookings that have happened, it's coming at $16.6 billion. It's a decrease of 10%, but part of the seat was ready to kind of see that kind of a decline because last quarter was exceptionally high, so $16.6 billion, what the company also had guided for, that it will be a bit slower. In terms of segments, EMT, which has been doing well for them, again, showed a double-digit growth, while, uh, oh, sorry, uh, CMT has seen a double-digit decline, I beg your pardon, while the healthcare business that continues to do well, that's shown a growth of around 30%. So overall, it's a decent number coming in from Accenture. And for now, not a big read through for the Indian IT company. Pretty much, it's more of the same. All right, Anisha, thank you so much for the, all the number crunching. Uh, seems like a decent set of uh, numbers coming in there for Accenture.